Here are five quick tips on how to stand out as a developer when you are applying for jobs. Number one, cold email the person that you want to work for. Cold emailing is not a very traditional way to get noticed, but when you do it right, you can really see results. Here are some quick tips on how to make an effective cold outreach. Number one, make it personal. Don't send an email where it's obvious that you could have just sprayed and prayed this email to a hundred other people. Make it personal, find something that you have in common, see something they recently posted on their website or their LinkedIn that makes it very personal to that company and that person. Um, write it in your email to show that you noticed that. Um, just make it very personal. Number two, make it short and succinct. You typically don't wanna go over eight sentences in an email, make sure they're spread out well so it's very easy to read. And third, have a very low ask commitment. Um, you might reach out and not ask directly for an interview. You might ask for a 15 minute call to learn a little bit more about the role. Making the commitment a lot less um, of an ask will make it easier for the person you're reaching out to to say yes. The second tip is solve a problem for me. Uh, do some research, look for what the company or the role of the person that you are trying to reach out to um, currently has, whether it's, you know, a person on LinkedIn is posting a job posting that they want more visibility on and they're asking for uh, ways to get the role out there. Um, maybe they have a specific software problem that kind of gets mentioned inside their job posting. Uh, send me a message that outlines Either some ideas that you have, a quick solution that you might do, or so just showcase that you have thought about a problem that I'm currently working on that might be relevant to the job that I'm posting for. Um, this really just showcases uh, that you have done your research, that you're thoughtful, and to showcase a little bit about your skills and how you might go about a problem that I'm currently facing. Tip number three. Apply to companies that have take-home assessments where you can go above and beyond to showcase your skills. Um, so I would look at companies that do take-homes. There are some, uh, some resources like no whiteboarding interviews um, or other websites that list out uh, interviews that are more practical. I would apply to those companies, receive the take-homes, and then really focus on showcasing your best self in those take-homes. Go a little bit above and beyond. And what that could mean is showing a little bit more depth in, this, in your skills or showing a little bit more breadth of something that they didn't quite ask for. Something I would always recommend is making sure that you showcase your strong communication skills in your take-home. That means either in the email that you might send as a response to submitting your take home, that could be in your PR description where you're explaining what you did and what your approach was. Showcasing great communication skills is one of the most important skills that people are looking for. Um, you wanna make sure it's clear and concise and you wanna make sure that you uh, thoroughly get your thoughts across and how you thought about the problem. Number four, showcase your written communication skills on platforms like LinkedIn. Uh, there are more and more developers who are posting blogs or writing posts on LinkedIn to showcase uh, what they're currently working on, technologies they're interested in, and even just how well they communicate their thoughts. Um, I would suggest writing either small posts on what you're currently learning, new technologies you're digging into and how you're using that for side projects that you're working on. You can also link your posts when you are applying to jobs or in cold emails that you're writing. You can showcase that you're more of a well-rounded applicant by doing so. Lastly, get a referral. This isn't always easy, so if you don't have a friend that works at a company that you want to apply for, what you could do is that when you are applying to a job and even if you don't get that position but you left a good impression, you can always follow up with the hiring manager or the recruiting manager and ask if they know any other companies that are currently hiring that they might recommend to you. Whether they do a direct referral or you can utilize that person's name when you're out reaching to a company, it always helps to be able to have that little extra referral. So for example, you might have interviewed at company X and the hiring manager was Jim and you didn't get that role, but you asked Jim, like, is there any other companies that are applying that are actively hiring right now? And he says company Y, 
um, and you said, okay, do you mind if I use your name to reach out to that company just to mention that you recommended me to apply? Then you can kind of go to company Y, find a recruiter there, email them and say, hey, Jim mentioned to reach out, um, said that you are a great company that's hiring right now that might be relevant to the, the companies that I'm looking to work for. Would you be interested to chat? Just kind of mentioning a person or showing that there's some form of referral, even though it's not a formal referral, really helps you stand out uh, as a candidate. So those are my five quick tips. Good luck to anyone who is currently job hunting. I know it's not an easy time right now, um, but uh, wishing you all the best.